let's go into the question here, regression and correlation. You will be given a, a little bit of a, an opening here, a paragraph opening to explain what's going on. Most people don't really read it. I don't think so anyway. Sometimes there might be only two columns with figures on it, but more generally, uh, in most cases, you will be given three columns. Okay, And in this case, what we're looking at are for each country, people who have the number of years and third year level of education and what their annual income is in euro, I reckon this is. Okay. And the first question as always is going to be to prepare your scatter graph, showing that relationship between these two variables. And first thing you should, if you have a pen and paper here, just to make notes as we go along, the first thing you should identify is which of these is called your dependent variable and which is known as your independent variable. A dependent variable, firstly, to explain it, a dependent variable is that variable, and a variable, by the way, is something that where numbers change, just like the way we see these numbers changing for this third level of education. So third level education is a variable because these numbers vary. Annual income is also a variable because this data series varies, okay, and or, or changes. Anyway, a dependent variable is one in which it, and the outcome or the changes depend on something else that causes it to change. So either the third level of education depends on income or income depends on third level of education. And I think based on that, in terms of logically speaking, I think it might be fair to say that income depends on third level of education in most cases. All right. And um, so, but we don't want to rely on that. So the best thing to find out here is identify where the two variables are mentioned in a sentence and they're separated by on. Okay, because what we're going to do is what's called a y on x regression. So I'm just going to see where it might be third level of education and average income. Where here we see in the question, average years, third level education, a person has under average annual income. That's no good to me because what we have is on sep or so what we have is and separating the two variables. So don't rely on that. Don't call this your y and this your x variable. It has to be separated by on because we are doing what's called a y on x regression and it needs to be separated by on. It may not be available here. Okay. I don't see it even though we have a featuring here. Okay, it's not separated by on. So we have to ignore that this first one is Y and the second one is X. Um, and I don't think it's even in this question. Okay, so we have to rely on reasoning here for this to happen. Okay, so your annual income, I reckon, is going to be dependent on the third level of education. Okay, X and Y. And remember, if you're unsure of which is your dependent, which is your independent, always default back to this here being your x. Your first figure, your first column of figures is going to be your x variable in most cases. And it should be because that's the way we like coordinates on a diagram. When we plot a point, we're plotting always x first and then y. So when we have x and y, we see here it's set up in a table that this is x and this is y. So just remember that as a last resort, okay? Okay, so prepare a scatter graph. I have a solution here, and I'm gonna jump in between the two of them. But for the scatter graph, I think I'm gonna to have to draw it up um, from in, in the Word document because I've done it on Excel. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this up um, as you would in your exam. So notice back at the question here, this being my y variable, it's going to be on my y axis. This here being my x variable, it's going to be on my x axis. So my y axis is going to go as far as 66. Okay, so I'm going to round it up to say 70. Here, this is the highest number I have is five point, or is actually six. So my x axis is going to go as far as six. So I'm going to be a bit slow, maybe doing this, and I might ignore, I might actually ignore the numbers. So this is just going to be rough. So imagine that this is your 70, your highest point. This here is your six, your highest point on the x-axis, represented by these figures here. 
and I'm going to plot the coordinates as I see them that go together. So remember, this here is your x. So 4 with the 22. So there's 35, 22 is about here, and 4 is about here. So there's one point. So we might have a diagram. It's not accurate, obviously. Uh, we have a diagram like this. And always label your axis. So if you recall that your income depends on le level of education, this here you write an in income. Okay. And education, which is put ED. And it's third level education, number of years in third level education. And just put in a heading here, scatter graph is fine. Okay. And you are going to do a hell of a lot better than that diagram because you're going to be using a ruler and pen and your or pencil. I'd advise pencil to be honest, so you can quickly make the changes and you're going to have all the scaling done uh, a lot better than what I have done here. Okay. Uh, so I don't know how that reflects the one I did in Excel. Just ignore the numbers here on the left. So it's kind of, you know, quite similar in terms of where the points are actually distributed uh, on that, okay? So that's your scatter graph and there's six marks going for that as long as you label everything.